How tall are you? I'm five, six and a half though. We'll have to go five, six, won't we? Start. Oh, oh, oh. This seat is now in the recommended ideal position. No, I don't like it. I'm gonna have to put it back. Nice try though, Nazda. So once you start peeling back the layers of bodywork on the Lamborghini Urus, what you find underneath is that the core engine and the platform is shared across many VW Group cars, like the Bentley Bentayga, the Porsche Cayenne Turbo, this, the Audi RS Q8. That's not a bad thing. I mean, essentially what Lamborghini have done is they found a cost-effective way of building an SUV rather than doing the whole thing from scratch. And it also means that when you drive something like this, you get that taste, that delicious taste of Lamborghini loveliness for a cheaper price. I say cheaper, this ain't cheap. In fact, I'll probably get in trouble for sitting up here. So I'm gonna get down. Yeah. Good. What gadget has she been testing that deserves the prime time slot at the end of the show? Nicola. Printers. Oh, God bless us and save us. Because I am spending the day here in the fanciest of fancy dress shops where I'm going to be helping the big boss run things for the day. Business booming? It is booming. It's been very, very busy. So I brought with me three printers under £100. Super. So hopefully, fingers crossed, one of them will be the perfect printer for you. OK, we're going to go to the final printer now, our most expensive printer, which is the HP. Print. The HP is the only one on test that stores paper inside the machine, giving a sleeker appearance. And like the Epson, it claims a 10-page per minute print speed in black and white. There we go. My Little Pony Deluxe Party Pack, tablecloth, cups, plates, napkins, balloons, and it's a, it's a table cover. It's a table cover. You don't cover. need that whole title there. It's <laughs> just a table cover. And a three-pin. Oh, look. Happens to be connected to my blender. Does anyone fancy a smoothie? Shall we? I genuinely didn't expect that to work and it worked. That's so good. One place where you do really appreciate the BMW connection is in the interior. I mean, it's not mega spectacular in here, but what it is, is it's really well built, really well put together. The switch gear is taken from BMW. The infotainment is taken from BMW, which we all know is one of the most intuitive on the market. So, look, I'm not suggesting that suddenly the Toyota Supra is one of the best sports cars out there. But what I am saying is for the few days that I've had this thing, I've completely fallen in love with it. I really have. I feel connected to it now. There's just something about it. And I think it's just another two things, isn't it? That's just worked together in perfect harmony. The Toyota Supra and Nicola Hume. I don't want to give it back. <laughs> That's the downside of this job. The upside is that you get to drive lots of different cars and have a great time. The downside is having to give them back. I'm going to keep this forever. Whee!